Earth has an amazing variety of living organisms. You could probably name hundreds of them. Cows, dogs, grasshoppers, mushrooms, trees, flowers, and bacteria. You may even know the names of several dog breeds. However, do you know the names of other organisms in languages other than English? How do you create names for organisms that can be used anywhere in the world? This is where the taxonomic classification, also called the Linnaean system, comes into play. Named after its inventor, Carl Linnaeus, a Swedish botanist, zoologist, and physician, the Linnaean classification system has eight levels of classification. You may also hear this called taxonomic rank. You will often see the levels displayed like a triangle. This is because the levels at the top are broad and general, whereas the levels at the bottom are more specific. As you move down levels of taxonomic classification, the organisms will be more similar to one another. The eight levels of classification are domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Let's take a look at an example of a fox. We will start at the domain level. There are three domains in all, Eukarya, Bacteria, and Archaea. Organisms that fall under the Eukarya domain have cells with nuclei, whereas organisms that fall under Prokaryote or Archaea have cells that lack a nucleus. Fox cells have nuclei and therefore are eukaryotic organisms. This eliminates the bacteria because a bacteria does not have a nucleus. Next comes kingdom. There are six kingdoms, Protista, Fungi, plant, animalia or animal, and archaeobacteria and eubacteria. Foxes are animals and thus fall under the animal kingdom. This eliminates the plant because it belongs to the plant kingdom. Next is phylum. There are dozens of phylums. Some examples include arthropods, which are crabs, nadarians, which are jellyfish, and chordata, which are dogs, bats, and fish. Foxes belong under the phylum chordata because they have a spinal cord. This eliminates the insect because they have an exoskeleton and no spinal cord. Then comes class. Foxes are classified under mammalia, meaning they have special glands that they can be used to provide milk to the young, along with some other features. This eliminates the frog because a frog is an amphibian and not a mammal. Foxes belong to the order Carnivoria because they have specialized teeth that can be used to eat other vertebrates. This eliminates the cow because they do not have these specialized teeth. Foxes are classified under the Canidae family, which is also nicknamed the dog family. Wolves, dogs, coyotes all belong to this family. This eliminates the polar bear. Next is the genus. Foxes belong to the genus Vulpes, which means fox in Latin. Organisms that belong in this genus are often referred to as true foxes and are identified by the color difference between their tails and the rest of their bodies. This eliminates the dog which belongs to the genus Canis. And finally, the fox's species label is also called Vulpes, thus the scientific name for a fox is Vulpes Vulpes, which literally translates to fox fox. This eliminates the phoenix fox. To sum it up, the whole classification for a fox would look like this. However, you only have to use an organism's genus and species when creating the scientific name. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.